Hey Aries, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look at what may be going on in your love life. It's not for everyone because it's general. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you're looking for a personal love reading, I do offer them right now. The link is in the description box. You can also go over to my Etsy shop and purchase a love reading there. I also have my tarot and my oracle decks um, and my spiritual jewelry. So let's see what's going on for you guys, Aries. Um, I also just launched my business course. So if any of you guys ever had a desire or an interest in starting your own business, online tarot business, YouTube business, that business course you definitely should check out. I share with you behind the scenes content tricks, uh, business strategies, okay, all the different possible sources of income, um, as well as sharing real life data analytics with you guys, okay? So check it out. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Um, let's jump right in. Your bonus. How does your person feel? Reading is up on Vimeo, and that is for May 20th to the end of the month, the 31st, okay? Yeah, I'm on time, y'all. I did it early. All right, so Aries, let's jump right into your reading. Let's see what's going on for Aries in love. Please, clear messages. Clear messages for Aries. Clear messages here for Aries, please. Clear messages here for Aries. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, um, the Page of Swords in reverse, and Eight of Cups. So there's something here, Aries, that you are walking away from, okay? You're walking away because essentially it wasn't making you happy, okay? Someone's walking away. Someone is trying to emotionally disconnect, okay? We've got the Knight of Cups in reverse. Someone is feeling like the current situation um, is not making me satisfied. I could do better. I can get to my Ten of Cups. So there's someone that perhaps maybe they haven't been honest and truthful with you. This is someone who perhaps hasn't really been communicating as effectively or um, they haven't been communicating everything. They haven't been 100% transparent and upfront with you, okay, with that Page of Swords. Some of you guys, you could have found out something by word of mouth, online, social media or something here that has really affected this connection as well. Let's see. Some of you guys are done with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. In the past, we do have the chariot, Cancer in particular. We have the star in reverse and the seven of wands. So what I'm seeing is that there is some, in the recent past, it does look like someone decided to take charge, okay? Stand their ground, move forward, okay? That chariot is about moving toward a victory, taking charge of your life. A lot of you guys, you had to set boundaries with someone. You had to tell them how it was. Tell it like it is, okay? Tell them um, what your expectations are, what your intentions are. I feel like there's something or a situation here that you were losing hope in. You had, you had desires, you had wishes, and they have not been fulfilled. Maybe you've been dealing with this person for a very long time, and you're now feeling a little bit like nonchalant about this connection, you're not as hopeful as you were before. Okay, let's see. Let's get some more clarity. Let's look at your energy, Aries. What's on your mind? What's in your energy? We have the Ace of Wands in verse and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's something that you're deciding if, if you should continue to invest in, right? Should I continue to put my hard-earned money, my efforts, my time into this to build the foundation? Is it something that could be still built? Because the Ace of Wands in verse is that you, you question, you have doubts. You have doubts about something being able to move forward and get back on the right page. Because maybe something has made a hard left and you don't know how to get it back and moving in the right direction. So the Ace of Wands in verse, some of you guys are just tired. You're frustrated. You're tired of putting all your energy into something and it not moving forward. Okay? So a lot of you guys are losing the passion and drive for someone. You guys may be putting focus on other matters, such as your career, your home, maybe learning new skills, working on your business, your money. What's in the foundation? What is Aries not seeing? We have the Fool in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse, and the Two of Swords in reverse. There's someone who is making a decision here. They're trying to make a decision. This is someone that maybe you haven't been able to come together with. There hasn't perhaps been a reconciliation. The Three of Cups came out in the verse. There could be. It could be because it was a third party involved, okay? Someone could have been very foolish. Someone could have been making bad decisions or just thinking about themselves, okay? I feel like whoever this person is, they're wanting to make a decision. We'll see what that decision is about. 
But this is definitely someone who you're not on the right page with right now. You guys are not maybe seeing eye to eye. You, you can't come together just yet. There's some issues here. Let's see what the uh, outcome looks like, please. Outcome here for Aries and their person. We have the Tower. Ooh, the Tower and the Seven of Swords in verse. I see that whoever you're dealing with, there's going to be a wake-up call, okay? There's going to be something here that's coming to light, enlightenment, okay? And I'm seeing with the Tower, it's not comfortable. I'll be honest with you. The Tower is never really comfortable, but it could be a blessing in disguise. In the end, it could really bring forth some kind of awakening or clarity, Okay, that perhaps you didn't see before. In fact, we also have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So if there's something that you are stuck on, Aries, you can't get out of your head. You've been like in this mind fuckery. I don't know a better way to say it. You're letting it go. You're saying enough is enough. I'm not doing this anymore. Okay, I do feel like there's someone who may want to try to preserve the connection in some way. The Seven of Swords in reverse could be someone who wants to clear the air okay they did something that was dishonest um lied cheated they're, tr they're trying to clear the air with you or make up for something that they've done that may have caused a tower moment so let's see let's get some more clarity here aries 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 sun rising venus if this is your reading like share comment and subscribe and check out your bonus may 20th to the 31st I appreciate y'all. All right, let's see. The Eight of Cups walking away, letting go. Should I stay or should I go? A lot of you guys, again, there's been someone who's been dishonest. And I think a lot of you guys are trying to just let this go, walk away from someone. There hasn't really been much love or show of affection with the Knight of Cups in reverse. You guys are not on the same page. Three of Pentacles in reverse. There's an ending, death. Okay, Scorpio energy. I feel a lot of you guys with Three of Pentacles in reverse, you guys are just not, you're just not getting along. It's almost like you're just, what are we doing now? Okay, are we faking it? Okay, that's the energy. I'm seeing that when it comes to your emotional, when it comes to your emotional health and your well-being, I mean, your happiness, it's just, it's taking a toll. I, I feel like this person hasn't been able to love you the way that you needed to be loved. What happened in the past? The chariot, the seven of wands. Some of you guys, we got the King of Cups and we got the King of Wands in reverse. It's like not only were they not taking action, but, you know, this is someone who's emotionally void or manipulative, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with, again, an um, Earth sign or Water sign. Give me some more clarity on Seven of Wands. We got all these people here. All these people. This, this, this could be third-party energy, okay, for some of you guys in the past. There was a lot of confusion, um, the chariot came out twice. I just see whatever's going on. You guys are letting it go. You're walking away from it. You're going in a different direction. The star in the verse. Why is the star in the verse? You're not so hopeful. Yeah. A lot of you guys are not so hopeful because, you know, you don't see a reunion with this person and you're choosing your happiness. The nine of cups. You're choosing your own fulfillment, your own happiness. Ace of wands in reverse. Um, four of cups. There's an opportunity. I mean, there, there's a missed opportunity. Let's be honest. Like, you know, a lot of you guys, you feel as if this is someone that maybe you really had high expectations for. You really saw them as maybe someone you could move forward with. But I don't see you giving to that. Ace of Wands versus you're not putting your energy and effort into that situation anymore. And unfortunately, it comes with some sadness. It does. But I think that there's something that you're going to be putting your focus on. Why is the Eight of Pentacles? There's something that you're working toward, Ten of Pentacles. You're working toward actually finding someone that you can have this long-term stability commitment with, right? You're working toward something that is going to be worthwhile. You want to get married, right? You want to settle down. Maybe you guys have visions for um, owning home, property. You're, you're putting that energy into that, those things that actually matter. Now, let's see what's going on with your person. A fool in reverse. This person feels like... <laughs> They can keep you in the dark, they can lie, they can be dishonest, they can do foolish things and then come back with an apology. They think that this page of cups is going to do anything. Your person is thinking about apologizing for something that they've done. The sun could be regarding a Leo, got Aries energy. This is them extending an offer of apology, saying, hey, I'm sorry, Aries, I did you wrong, I lied to you, I created a very um, dysfunctional, unhappy situation between i mean what this is your person apologizing for something they did i see that they're not really happy 
because the, you know they could be realizing that they were foolish and now they see you moving in a different direction why is the three of cups in reverse yeah look at that they want to hold on to this connection. There's an opportunity. They want to offer you new love. Some of you guys, they ended maybe a third party or they see a re uh, uh, they don't see a reunion with someone from the past, perhaps. We have a three of cups in reverse. Or this is your energy. You're pulling back and they're wanting to come forward. Ace of cups. There's a, there's a new offer coming for you guys. Not only just a page of cups, an ace of cups. So we have someone apologizing in effort for them to come back in your life and renew this connection. You may not want it, Aries. Let's see. The two of swords in reverse. What is this decision that they're trying to make? Ahead of a heart decision. What is this decision about? Yep. Coming in. Rushing in. They want to compete for your love again. The five of wands. This is them wanting to compete. Coming in because they still have passion. They still have a desire. This is someone wanting to win you back, Aries. They're coming toward you. Making a decision. And now coming back to compete for your love. Because they don't want to lose out. They don't want to lose out on you is what I'm seeing. So let's see what the tower is. What is this tower? The tower could be something here that's coming, that's being revealed to you. Yeah. What's being revealed to you is that your person feels like they messed up. They did everything wrong in this connection. They treated you wrong. They said horrible things. There's something here where they feel regretful. They feel shitty. They feel um, remorse, guilt. And this is them wanting a reconciliation, the Six of Cups. They're thinking about you. And that's going to be a tower moment. That's going to bring a lot of, it's going to be a surprise. Some of you guys is going to be shocking to you. Like, what the hell? Okay. Um, but yeah, the, that the tower, there's something. A lot of you guys, the tower is what your person's going through. Big realization, five of cups. Oh no, I can't believe I spoiled this. Because on their mind is, oh yeah, we're going to come back together. That You know, Aries is always going to be there for me. No, Aries is not always going to be there. So there's the energy of you being very indecisive. Look at this. You're not sure what to do, Aries. See this two, two of pentacles, two of swords? What do I do? This is your person coming back, reconciling, trying to clear the air, seven of swords, and six of cups, trying to make up for something that they've done. Seven of Swords in verse is like, I, you know, I, I did wrong. I'm sorry. This is why I did it. Clear in the air, trying to get on your good graces. So you have a decision to make. And this is going to be a very difficult decision. It's a head of a heart decision to two of swords. You're going to be stuck between a, a rock and a hard place. But you are going to have to get out of your head. Eight of Swords in verse, let go of something here that's been really challenging. You've been stuck on and make a decision because you've been going back and forth on this. Or you will be coming into the moment. This is the future. You will be going back and forth on this. Should I even give this a shot? Is it worth it? That's up to you, Aries. So let's get some unspoken love messages from your person. What are some things they want to tell you, but they can't? This is my Oracle deck on my Etsy shop if you're interested. I'm also going to get some Epiphany cards if you guys want to stay along. Okay. Um, if I could turn back time, I would and do it all different. So Aries, your person um, definitely wishes that they could go back in time, right? Change the way that they treated you. Maybe they wish that they were more present in your life. We also have, I hope you will find forgiveness in your heart for me. That's why the Page of Cups is here. I hope you will find forgiveness. I hope you will accept me for everything I did wrong, <laughs> right? Pretty much. Let's see, any other messages? You are always in my dream. So this person is dreaming about you when they go to sleep. You're in their head. You're in their dreams. And I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, okay? So a lot of you guys, yeah, your person has, they have not really been showing their true love and feelings because a lot of you guys initially, we got the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is someone who's been holding back. Maybe they haven't been talking to you and holding back, but now we have someone who definitely is going to, make a big bold move and actually apologize and or effort to have a new beginning with you with the ace of cups so that's what's coming in i'm gonna get some cards from the epiphany deck again your bonus reading is on vimeo how does your person feel for the end of may i've also got some divine love messages that have included okay time is up took too long some of you guys they took too damn long. The time is up. I'm getting when they, by the time they come back, because they may not come back right away, just depends on the energy and your situation. But by the time they come back, Aries, a lot of you guys have already moved on. A lot of you guys are, are going to feel like I'm not even interested in what they got to offer. We have false masks. So some of you guys are dealing with someone who was just um, the great pretender. They wore a false mask. They was not who they said they were. And we have karma. 
karma is at work here in your love life. So your person may be getting the karma, uh, getting their karma, and that's what that tower is about. And that's what's going to make them feel um, this Five of Cups energy, regrets, remorse, right, for something that they did. They let down Aries, and then now they want to come back, clear the air. They want to reconcile. That's karma. Karma will do that to you. <laughs> Aries, that's what I got for you guys. Sending you my love. Bye.